In this screencast, we're going to look at finding the right database. So the first thing you have to get to do is to get to the Dedham Middle School homepage, which you can get through through the Dedham Middle School public school page. And then on the left hand side under contents, you'll have to find the link that says databases and we'll click on that. So from this page, the databases are split up by type. So we have ebooks, which are just the digital copies of reference books. We have general reference databases. Those are things like um, essential information databases and encyclopedias and general reference centers. So good places to start your research to get a basic understanding of what you're looking for. We have humanity databases. And humanities are things like biographies and databases about books and literature and culture. We have databases that are periodicals. Periodicals are newspapers and magazines and journals like the Boston Globe and the New York Times, popular magazines. And those are called periodicals because they are things that come out periodically. We have a section of science databases, health and wellness center and science and context. And then we have a whole bunch of social studies databases, all different kinds, some that are focused on American history, some that are focused on world history. So the first thing you have to do is think about what is it you are looking for and what kind of database is gonna get you what you need. So let's say I'm looking for information on George Washington and I wanna know about his presidency it would probably make sense for me to go to social studies. And then I can either look at American history or US history collection or US history and context. And I'd probably be able to find some good information about George Washington's presidency. But if what I'm looking for is information about George Washington's early life, like his childhood, then the social studies databases probably aren't going to be very helpful for that because they're going to focus on historical context. So for the childhood of George Washington, I'm probably going to have better luck if I go to humanities and then use one of the biography databases because a biography would tell the story of a whole person's life. So I'd want to use that one and that would give me better luck. If I was trying to find information about Ebola, I want to know its symptoms and how you cure it and how it spreads, then it's probably going to make sense for me to go to the science databases. And I could use Health and Wellness Resource Center and do a search for Ebola, and that's probably going to give me very detailed information about those questions that I have. But if what I'm wondering about Ebola was the Ebola crisis that happened in 2014, 2015, this database is not gonna give me that kind of information. I would probably have much better luck going to maybe one of the periodicals and doing a search in InfoTracker, the New York Times, the Boston Globe, setting my date for 2014 and 2015 and finding newspaper articles about what was happening during that time period. So the first step in finding and using databases is figuring out which one is going to get you what you need.